Well, thank you for everyone for joining today. We're uh, glad that you would take the time to spend with us today and uh, discuss something that not a lot of people know about, which is our custom solutions at Interface. So this is part of a series of events that we have been hosting for the last few months. And we uh, found that it's a great way to not only let people know about the different types of applications that we're seeing, but also some of the products that we have available uh, and how those are being applied across all types of different industries. Today, we've got uh, Keith Skidmore, Regional Director, who will be joining this presentation, along with the person that heads up our custom solutions, Ken Bishop. So I'm sure that you'll find this uh, insightful. We hope so. And then we've got a series of frequently asked questions that we'll cover at the end. Feel free to use the chat to address any questions that you have, and we'll cover those at the end. We again, thank you for joining us today. And to kick things off for the Interface team, I've got Brian Peters. Brian? Thank you, Jamie. And yes, thank you all for taking time out of your day to join us. Uh, we've got two of our most experienced and wisest members of the Interface sales team, Keith and Ken. Uh, they have many decades of experience. I won't claim how many or share how many decades between the two of them, uh, but they bring a, a, a vast background of experience in force measurement, uh, applications, and solutions, uh, especially from a system level standpoint. So I, I think what you guys will learn today uh, will be helpful to learn a little bit about our capabilities, uh, what we've done in the past, and certainly what we can do to make your jobs easier in terms of getting the measurement you need for a particular test or application. So, um, Jamie, if you can go ahead and go into the agenda. All right. So today, uh, those two will be talking a bit about uh, you know what interface means by custom solutions first and foremost, uh, and then give some general recommendations uh, that will help you. Uh, be able to effectively and efficiently get to a, a combined solution. Um, so we're going to cover some uh, some different recommendations in terms of laying out your requirements uh, and then also just tips to to engage with our teams efficiently. Uh, and hopefully it'll just uh, open open everyone's eyes a bit to what what the possibilities are through some of our many different applications that we've supported over the last uh, last many years here at Interface. So and then of course we'll open up to an FAQ, but uh, uh, the meat of the the meat of the presentation and all the good stuff's going to come from Keith and Ken. So on that uh, note, I'll go ahead and hand it over to to you guys. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, what is considered an interface custom solution? Standard solutions come off the shelf. So as you look at our website, you'll see a variety of different products. And you can order those as is, and uh, those are not considered custom. Engineer to order is kind of the next level where you take something that's off the shelf from our website, uh, maybe change a thread or a connector, mounting holes. Um, we call that engineer to order, but not necessarily custom. And then there's custom, and that's what we're here to discuss today. Custom is going above and beyond regular engineer to order products. We can do that with single components or devices, multiple components configured as a system, OEM applications um, and products for your OEM application. We can even take products that you have or substrates you have and perform gauging services on them or create full and entire systems for that. Next slide. So interface, um, we can do, like we said before, many different products. And as you know, from looking at our website, we have many different products. So some examples are for load cells, we can do modified designs and even fully designed load cells or load pins to meet your application needs. In regards to torque, we can do custom shaft sizes, custom outputs, uh, temperature ranges, uh, and other things to torque that could help fit into your application much better. In regards to wireless, we can integrate that wireless into um, products like load cells and torque transducers or connect them externally, whichever uh, fits your application best. So multi-axis, um, we can make custom transducers 
and perform custom calibrations. In some instances, it may be beneficial to have calibrations done specific to your application needs, so we can take care of those for you. In regards to test stands, we can uh, create load cell verification frames and do material testing frames as well um, for you uh, to custom fit to you, your needs. And then in regards to instruments and accessories, uh, we have custom instrumentation that we can make or take instrumentation that we have and modify it for your specific use. Next slide. These are some pictures of some of the um, applications that we're going to describe to you better uh, as we move through the uh, presentation. Next slide. Our capabilities interface has been providing custom solutions for more than half a century. Uh, internally here at interface, we have you know FEA finite element analysis, which allows us to design uh, the flexures and be able to put our own proprietary strain gauges on the, the flexures for torque and load cells and load pins. We have a state-of-the-art machine shop that can machine most everything that's needed in our industry. Uh, World-class assembly and calibration. Um, many, many long-time employees here. Uh, we follow all industry-leading quality standards and deliver precision-based measurement solutions. We even have dedicated procurement and engineering resources to address our custom solution specific needs. Now I'm going to hand it over to Keith and he's going to tell you a little bit more. Hi everyone, this is Keith Skidmore. Um, I'm talking about design and specification recommendations. Next slide, please. So we're going to do a custom solution. There's six things you need to define. Um, what do you want to measure? You know, that's not such, you know, as easy as saying, oh, force or torque or weight. You know, we want to know what are you trying to accomplish, kind of dig into the details, um, say how the sensor will be used. You know, you have a specific uh, use case. Is it going to be mounted on an actuator? Is it going to be bolted to a plate? You know, details of the application. Um, do you need multiple sensors or a single device? You know, do you need, say, force and torque? Do you need uh, force and position? Do you want to measure, uh, you know, displacement. Uh, we can do all those kind of things if you let us know what you're interested in. Um, it's going to be embedded in an OEM application, or is this for a single tested measurement or, uh, you know, a, a small uh, test and measurement project? Um, it makes a difference. You know, we like to discuss that. If it's an OEM application, we might want to, you know, do more customization or, uh, you know, do some cost engineering. Um, so we need to know that. And do you have a Cost target again. It's important to know that you know if we're going in and your target is you know thousand dollars and it looks like it's going to be twenty thousand dollar solution. It's good to get that out in the open early so you don't waste too much of your time. Um, and then again, how are you going to read the results? Okay, so you have this system. What do you want to do? Do you want to display? Do you want a graph? Do you want to be able to log data? Do you want uh, you know broadcast up to the clouds? So you can pull data down you know, remotely, you know, need to know exactly what the uh, sort of the result is that you're trying to uh, achieve. It could, could be maybe you're connecting to a, a network or a machine control system, whatever. Need to know. Uh, next slide, please. So we're talking about customizing transducers. Um, first step is really to review and identify existing products, and that could be our products or someone else's. Um, what have you seen that is close to what you need? Um, also, if you discuss what you need with an application engineer, a lot of times we have products we've already done that may not be published on the website or whatever. So sometimes there's something that somebody else has wanted that we've already done that uh, could be close to what you want. Um, so then once we identify something close or not, um, you can create a sketch or a markup working with an application engineer. You know, what does this thing look like? Is it a standard load cell with, you know, different mounting pattern or something? Or, you know, it's a completely clean sheet of paper, custom. You know, we can sketch it up and discuss it. Um, talking about sensing, you know, you need, you need to know the capacity, but that's more than just it's a 100-pound load cell. You know, we want to know what the range of measurement is and what the loading profile is. There may be side loading. There may be other things going on. It might be cycling. You know, it might be just a long-term static load or whatever. Those details are important. Um, environment talks about where it'll be used. Will it be out in the rain? Will it be under sea? Will it be up in space? You know, those are important details. 
Um, what kind of output do you want? Uh, sensors, uh, strain gauge sensors typically have millivolts per volt output, but we can do amplified voltage outputs either with embedded amplifiers or external devices. We can digitize and provide all different kinds of uh, field bus type outputs. So we have displays, you know, software that logs and graphs. You might have a display and software. You know, you may want to connect to some, uh, you know, PLC or a uh, network or a data system of some sort. So we need to understand that and we can uh, ac accommodate it. Um, volume requirements again kind of goes to targeting, uh, you know, exactly what we're going to build. If you, you know, high volume or low volume, it may make a difference. Um, some things we can do for higher volume requirements may not be possible in single piece. Um, some things may not be possible in volume we can do and gladly do in a few pieces also. So it's important to know um, delivery timing, and how soon you need something what's the scope of the project you know if you need parts in hand within a couple weeks or a couple months it's important it'll drive us in the right direction um, add-ons it's good to consider what would make a complete system what can we do for you to make your life easier so it might be oh you know we'd like to do this and that and maybe that's not something you usually think of interfaces doing but we may be uh, quite interested and capable doing it so what other accessories whether they be fixtures or instrumentation or other types of sensors you know what would add into this system to make it complete and have a, a more of a single point of contact for the more of the system so you call interface if you have questions we can answer it um, next slide please so custom instrumentation this is a little different than sensing side um, Again, what are you trying to accomplish with it? If you wanted some kind of custom software or something that would, you know, graph and log or display something unique, um, we can do it. Um, if we're talking about instrumentation. We know what do you want to connect to it, and what do you want to connect to? And so again, you might have um, load cell. You might have some other sensors that you already have, or you might want to acquire that uh, would allow you to take more measurements into a single device. Sometimes that can be very useful. It synchronizes the data. Um, the systems we sell typically are custom or purpose built so that um, they're very good for specifically what you're trying to do would be say measuring force. They don't have a whole lot of other capabilities that you don't need, but they're tuned to fit your need. Um, again, what other measurements do you want to make? Um, speed, you know, some applications say long term logging of somewhat static loads. You want a fairly low data rate, you know, if you're doing impact testing or something, you know, spike capture, you might need very high sampling rate. So we need to understand that. So we provide an appropriate solution. Um, environment is again, is it going to be out in the rain? Again, if the load cell is going to be underwater, well, maybe the instrumentation isn't if it's attached by a cable or it's some kind of wireless system, you know, so we need to know is the environment, the instrumentation is going to be in, is it um, the same as the sensor and what what is it? Um, power. Sometimes you might have a specific power available, you know, 12 volts of his vehicle operated or whatever. We need to know that we can accommodate it, but it's good to talk about that up front so we know what we're dealing with. Um, again, output, what do you need? Graphing, logging, you want to log to an SD card, you know, what is it that you're trying to accomplish with the basically the output of the system, which means your your measurement results. Um, in wired or wireless, we've been doing a lot of wireless stuff. You know, you ask yourself, why would somebody want wireless? Well, it turns out, Lots of reasons. One of them just because cables can get in the way. So if somebody who doesn't want to, you know, have a cable, say in a walkway or you know something moving around a bit, they don't want it tethered to a cable. Um, lots of good reasons to go wireless. Um, next slide, please. And then systems. Well, systems would take potentially um, sensor or sensors, um, instrumentation, maybe some packaging, maybe fixturing for the, you know, some kind of hardware. You know, you name it, we can do it. A challenge we'd have to address then is what exactly are you trying to do? You know, what need is trying to be filled by this project? Um, Want to talk about the concept, you know, sketches, drawings. Um, you know, is there anything you've done previously that you're trying to emulate or like to improve upon? Um, you know, again, if you have an existing system, great. You know, is there something about it? Sometimes it's just you want something similar and it's uh, it's now obsolete, so you can't buy another one. Um, could be that you've got something you like, but you'd like you know, to do something else that we might be able to help with. Um, again, solution requirements, what deliverables are expected? That really talks about what, what are you expecting to, to, you know, 
receive when we deliver a complete project and what satisfies your requirement. You know, you want to get in a position where we have one thing in mind, you have another thing in mind, you get it and it doesn't match up. So we need to really define what exactly is going to be you know, considered a success when we deliver this system. Um, training, we can provide training. Some of these systems can be relatively complicated. Um, could be on-site training, could be at interface, could be over the internet. You know, we provide manuals and things for systems. So just have to define what uh, the scope of that is. And um, I think that covers it. Uh, moving on, please. I'll hand this over to Ken. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Uh, let me put on my uh, video here. Yeah, so we can uh, customize most products that we offer. Um, that includes, uh, of course, force and torque. Uh, this kind of shows our ranges that we can provide products in. We can go up to 4 million in uh, force and uh, 85,000 Newton meter in torque. And then, of course, we have many, many multi-axis offerings, whether they're two-axis load cells or multi-axis load pins or three and six axis load cells and then of course we have the instrumentation to support all this product next slide please so um, we're going to show you some examples uh, we've got a lot of them and um, you know we're proud of each and every one that we've done for our customers this one was a really neat um, solution. The customer came to us and said, you know, we need something that can be portable, um, self-contained, rechargeable batteries uh, for four-hour use between charges. And this was going to travel all over the world, so we had to make it uh, provide an ability to charge it, whether it was in 110 volt or 220 volt and even 28 volt. Um, it utilizes our model 9890 indicators, our SSM load cells, and then a custom design case, which you can see. Uh, we were able to fit everything into one um, Pelican case. You can see the five indicators there with five load cells. And then underneath and on top, you can see there's an inverter and charger in there. So we did all the research to uh, make sure that we provided enough battery backed up power uh, to meet the customer's needs. And they even had some specific temperature requirements that we had to pay attention to. So we were able to do that and uh, quite a successful um, application. Next slide, please. This was a uh, uh, multi uh, sensor solution for a customer who was setting up a test bench. They were um, basically creating uh, processes for production. This one utilizes our model SI-USB 4, which is a four channel USB interface module. Uh, in this uh, particular application, um, one channel was used for uh, the input of the torque transducer voltage, and then um, another channel was used for the angle. Um, which is to measure the angle of uh, the bolt that we're tightening there. And then uh, the other one was used to measure the force coming out of the uh, load cell. So we're using our model uh, SIUSB4, our T15 uh, torque transducer with our LWCF uh, clamping force load cell for um, <clears throat> testing bolt uh, uh, torque. And um, it all displayed on a PC and all the data was synchronized uh, with each other. And we were able to provide custom hardware as well uh, to suit the customer's test bench. Next slide, please. This is a, a model 1280 indicator you're looking at there. And uh, if you look closely at the picture, um, the picture is actually showing a frame uh, has four 1200 series load cells, one in each corner. And then what we did is we created a custom program that gave the customer a visual representation of the center of gravity. So um, the customer was uh, trying to, was struggling a little bit with the ways to calculate that center of gravity using the weight from the corners. And our engineering team was able to sit down, work up the math for it, and then 
create a program inside our model 1280 to do the graphical display of it. Next slide, please. This is a, uh, a test frame for testing springs. And so what the customer wanted was the ability to see not only force in the Z direction, but the moments as well. I would tell how well the spring performs and also how well the test stand performs. So the customer could use a, uh, let's say a calibrated or uh, spring standard uh, to make sure that the frame was properly aligned and functioning, and then could turn around and use the frame to test other springs to make sure that they met um, their requirements. What's nice about this is if you look to the right, we've got a custom instrument that we put together there, and that's a wireless um, instrument. On the side of it are wireless uh, antennas, and they're communicating from the um, R5200 uh, load cell to um, that uh, wireless display box um, and uh, displaying the values. And at the same time, if the customer wanted to do it, and uh, they could have um, <clears throat> logged the data right onto their PC. So it's really nice, no wires. Um, everything's kind of self-contained and we're able to provide the, the full solution. Next slide. Tips for engaging custom solutions engineers. Well, when you're getting ready to begin your project, um, the nice thing is that you know we're here to help. And uh, we have expertise in a lot of different areas that can help kind of bring everything together. So um, first thing is when you get started, please involve us early. Um, contact us. We've got application engineers, just a phone call away or an email away. And uh, like I say, experienced uh, uh, engineering group right behind them, supporting them. Um, and, you know, we'll work with you to get, you know, what specs that you need, what you're trying to achieve and kind of put everything together. And then we can, uh, you know, put this thing into our production, build it with our experienced uh, team. And then you know that when you're working with us, you're going to get, you know, certified, good tested product. Everything's going to work together and there'll be traceability, everything that you need to make sure that you have a successful solution in your uh, company. Next slide. And the benefits, you know, we're right here. We can be an extension. We have a number of partners that we collaborate with. Uh, and we have our customers that we collaborate with. So if it's something that's within the interface um, uh, scope, then we'll be working with you closely, working with our partners, working with our skilled team to uh, put everything together. Um, we uh, have experts, as we've said before, and so uh, if need be, uh, we can uh, get our engineering team on the phone with your engineering team to kind of uh, kind of set the scope and make everything easy for you. And then many, many years of experience of doing this will pay off in picking the right solution that matches the budget that you need and can fit into the timing of when you need it. I'm going to hand it over to Keith now. He's going to tell you some more about applications. All right, these are just a few more um, examples of applications that we've actually done in the past. This is an interesting one um, for aircraft. Sometimes they want to rebuild an aircraft. They might want to take the skin off the wings, for example, so they jack the system up. Turns out a lot of times it's just guys uh, running jacks, and you really need some feedback as to where each jack is, how much force is being applied. So this is a wireless weighing system. We provide uh, load cells and hardware for attaching to the jack points on the aircraft. Um, there's a visual representation on a laptop where the customer can see uh, the individual loads. There's actually a photograph or a picture of the airplane with the points, and they can see each point as the uh, load goes up. Uh, 
digital display of the load, and then they'll turn uh, from, uh, say, green to yellow to red as they get into, um, you know, certain areas they want to, say, be in the green. Um, and it has some alarms, so if it starts to go exceeding certain loads, it'll start flashing at the operator. And uh, these uh, systems are in cases so they can, you know, store them away when they're not in use and bring them out and uh, set up quickly. Um, again, wireless is great because sometimes there's lots of uh, equipment running around, you know, forklifts and, you know, construction equipment and things that may uh, tend to run over the cables. So wireless is quite nice for that. Um, next slide, please. This is an interesting application. We have a lot of medical customers who want to, you know, test various devices. This happens to be a uh, vascular clamp, and they're trying to understand the force applied by the clamp. And so we were able to fabricate a little fixture, paired it with our new Convex BT load cell, a uh, very light capacity one. And basically the load cell is just being compressed in the clamp, so not a big deal. But it turns out the load cells don't work so well when they're just uh, squashed because the backside wants to be supported. So this is just a little fixture they could um, put into the system to allow them to make measurements. And this was uh, designed to hit a certain height they wanted the test done at a certain cl closure uh, distance of the clamp. And it's hooked up to our 9330 instrument, which uh, has some software provided with it for graphing and logging. It also can log to an SD card so they can take data and then uh, you know view it on the computer. Next slide, please. This is an interesting little setup we worked with a customer on. It's a bench that they made, but we provided the uh, load cell and software for collecting data in the string pot. And the string pot and load cell data goes back to some software that basically logs position versus force as this uh, system cycles. It's a dual bridge load cell amplification. The uh, second bridge goes to the motor controller that controls that actuator. So they program the controller to run a certain uh, sequence of advanced basically cycling back and forth and then our measuring data. If you want to get more fancy, you could have actually ran a uh, sort of active control loop on the test so they could, uh, you know, say stop the test if it exceeded a certain travel or whatever. But right now they're just monitoring data. And the load cell and string pot are going into our um, SI USB, which is a two channel device. It accepts load cells, high level inputs, various other types of sensors. Um, Next slide, please. Um, this is an interesting application. It's a uh, food processing plant, so sort of automated production facility. They want to track um, objects, say, as they uh, cycle around the plant um, by weight, and the uh, these items uh, lose weight as they travel from process to process. They wanted to be continuously monitoring that. Um, because it's a food plant, we had some packaging issues. The uh, had to be stainless, you know, wash down, safe, um, wireless, because as these uh, items move around, you wouldn't want cables tethering them. So they're continuously broadcasting their data, you know, from the device itself. And then they were picked up and uh, connected into this through a gateway into the customer's data system. So pretty neat. We can do all kinds of uh, systems with wireless sensors and uh, all different types of outputs and into different types of uh, data collection systems. Next, please. This other interesting one. This is for uh, bridge monitoring. There's lots of infrastructure work being done in the US. This happened to be a new bridge and they put load pins in certain positions so they could measure uh, sort of the forces on these pins. Uh, generally in this um, example, uh, interested in seismic activity, but you can also measure on older bridges, you can measure you know, as forces change, that means things are stretching or, or cracking or, or moving. And so these were custom load pins. They're ruggedized. Obviously, they're part of the bridge, so they have to be out in the environment and they have to last a good long time. Obviously, you have to have very high safety factors and things. Um, there's a lot of cable run involved because it's a long bridge. And so these are ended up being analog system, but we also propose the idea of uh, running um, a single daisy chained uh, network solution. So you had a single cable run, a, uh, you know, a bus into a uh, data collection system and on this system we went out and trained the customer you know on how to use and maintain the system over time 
and frequently asked questions. I'm going to hand this one back over to Ken. Yeah, so, um, you know, do we charge to customize? Well, it depends. Um, for example, uh, load pins, not usually. So if you need a load pin, custom, link, custom, uh, you know, whether you want internally amplified, those kind of things, then um, uh, no. Uh, but sometimes with uh, custom load cells or instruments, we do have NREs. So, um, you know, we can amortize that over uh, a number of parts or charge you a straight NRE up front. That's really up to you. Do we provide uh, a design CAD or step file? Yes, in most cases we can do that uh, upon request. Obviously, we need to be completed with the design before we can provide that, but uh, absolutely. Do we provide a manual uh, with instrumentation, uh, custom instrumentation? Absolutely, we will provide a, a manual. And uh, of course, if that's part of your requirement, um, we will gladly sign up to that when we, um, you know, uh, initiate our contact. So you just have to let us know up front. What's the advantage of working with interface on a project? Well, many years of expertise and knowledge. And we also have, you know, the best products that will meet the needs of your application. Uh, does interface supply sensors other than force and torque? Yes, we've definitely supplied string pots, LVDTs, uh, um, and other items as required by the customer's application. So that's not an issue. And as mentioned earlier, we have our own procurement team to, to take care of that. When is the best time to engage with custom solutions engineers? Uh, that'll be when the project begins, even in the conceptual stage. We can help you all the way through the process and make it as painless as possible. Can we provide resources to assist in specific development? Yeah, we have, uh, of course, uh, uh, team members, uh, our AEs. Um, we have uh, um, many, many different documents, uh, you know, in regards to torque, load cells, et cetera, that we've uh, developed through the years. So we have many different resources that we can do to help uh, as we're putting this together for you and help educate your team as you're moving through a project. Now I'm going to hand it over to Jamie and she'll wrap it up for us. Sure, so if anyone has any questions that they would like the team to address on this um, presentation, please use the chat feature and we're certainly here to uh, answer any questions that you have for the next um, however long it takes. We will also be providing this um, presentation out on our YouTube channel. And with that, uh, we'll be able to uh, share any additional resources through a follow-up email so that you have this recording for your reference. We do have an upcoming event uh, next uh, month. We'll be talking about Torque. Uh, we'll cover all of the specific applications, tips, um, accessories, ways you can customize Torque as well, and um, inventive use cases. So please uh, join us. We'll make sure that you have the registration information uh, as well on that. So before we end this event, I want to just make sure that we have time to give you an opportunity to give us some questions. And we've got one here from Travis. Uh, when you offer a product through one of your vendors, do you work through them for customization of their products? That is a possibility, absolutely. If it was uh, something that we needed to acquire from a partner, then we could definitely get um, customized um, versions of their product as well. So if that's a need needed to um, you know, take care of the customer need, we can do it. And we do do it frequently. Good question. And what's the frequency that you guys are seeing where uh, systems are now more in demand than what we've seen in the past? Um, it seems like I see a lot more requests for that. Yeah, we're seeing an increasing demand. One of the issues that we've seen is a lot of our customers are a little resource thin. And so 
sometimes, you know, it's not that they couldn't do this themselves, but it's uh, helpful for them if we can do some of it for them. Again, we're experts. Some of the times we've done these things before, so we're kind of we're not reinventing the wheel every time. So we can really you know, allow our customers to get to what they're trying to do and not really waste their time, you know, building systems and things if that's not really what their their main job is or what their interest is. <laughs> Good question. Again, if there's any questions, feel free to use the chat feature. And um, we do have uh, an online resource if you go to interfaceforce.com, interfaceforce.com uh, for custom solutions that gives you an opportunity to put in some of your requirements, what you're looking at. And we're also here available to uh, speak with anyone. We've got application engineers. We've got a lot of resources in the field, our representatives and distributors around the world that have been doing uh, these types of custom requests and using our team to help support, build, and define the right resources for decades. So certainly here to help. And as we say, nothing's off the table until we figure out exactly what you need. Keith, Ken? Uh, got a question. When you do something truly new, who owns the IP if it's generated? Well, if you pay for the NRE on it, then it would be yours, of course. Um, it, it just depends. But that's our, uh, our normal practice. Yeah, I think oftentimes uh, we'll develop custom solutions for given customers, and that would be a customer specific solution, of course. IP wise, uh, sometimes we'll bring interface IP to the table, which would remain IP. Uh, but again, as far as developing custom solutions with customer specific part numbers, of course, those parts would be reserved for those customers. And how often does that apply in OEM? We see a lot of custom design work for OEM applications that are built for scale and volume? Uh, it varies, Jamie. Uh, we have quite a bit of OEM business that would be considered a standard design solution. Uh, and then oftentimes it would be a, like I referenced earlier, a customer specific solution, uh, at which point customer, uh, that part would be limited to that customer. Well, we're here, we'll remain here. If you have additional questions, again, we'll follow up and give you the link to this recording. We really appreciate your time and we hope that we see everyone back in April for a new twist on Torque. And thank you again for taking your time to join us. Um, Keith, Brian, Ken, thank you so much for contributing to this presentation and we look forward to talking with everyone soon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.